in the moment, the guillotine. Could you tell us how close you were to either going out or tapping out? Like, how close were you? It was close. It was uh, really, really close. It was, uh, yeah, so obviously I, I'm going to fight, you know what I mean? But I was at a stage where I was like, you know, even you almost like it was uh, changing color. Not changing color, but I mean, I was like, oh, no. I remember even thinking oh, there was like a, uh, you know, you, you watch movies and they talk about, you know, your, your life flashes before your eyes type thing. <laughs> so I had like a little moment like that. Honestly, I'm not lying. It was a moment where it was that deep and I'm like, hit fight. I'm like, oh no, this is this, this is it. You know, I'm not taking the belt back home with my family. I remember thinking of my family in that moment, uh, which is pretty cool. So that's shit you yeah. see in the movie, you know what I mean? But it was, that's what I was honestly thinking about. I was like, this can't be how I lose my belt. There's no way, you know what I mean? And I, I just obviously kept fighting and, uh, before you know it, I just felt got a little bit of space and then I was all good. Uh, so, yeah, man, it was, uh, again, most people would have tapped or just completely gave up because it was not my... Or anything I could, but my mate just eventually gave me that space and it was all good. But again, man, just hey, resilience and just, you know what I mean? And just <laughs> never, never die attitude.